let's go! Today on Labs Unlimited, four teams of cars will compete in a relay race. Cars will bump, slide, and launch each other to the finish line. The fastest teams move on. And the others head home. This is the Bumper to Bumper Challenge. Whoa! I can't believe it! What's up, track builders? I'm Jabari. And I'm Chloe. And welcome to Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited. Let's see who's building today's tracks. I'm Chaz, and I build this awesome bumper-to-bumper -bumper track. Ready, Ready set, set, build! Wow, that's an amazing track build. I love the launch into the infinity spiral. And using the box to create a stunt out the gate. We have these launchers as checkpoints. Jumps and loops add some action. Let's see how it works. Four teams of cars will race to see who can get the fastest time. Each team has four cars and they'll bump each other into these launchers. Which slide right over the track. The fastest teams move on to the championship round. But only one will be crowned the bumper to bumper champion. So let's get racing. First up, we have Team Street Wiener. I hear they've been training for months. Hot dog. Three, two, one, go! It's going so fast. Go, 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 go. And into the catch bucket. Yo, let's go. Team Street Wiener completes the first track in 8.86 .8 seconds. Let's take a look at some of those bumps. Ooh, Street Wiener's first handoff is a tasty one. That jump was sick. Linster Prototype transfers all its power to Lethal Diesel. Which sent Electro Silhouette into the catch bucket. Team Street Wiener opens the competition with a strong showing. Come on, let's go check out what cars are racing next. Team Retroactive is actively looking to win. This is an aerodynamic set of cars. But do they have the speed to back up their sleek design? Three, two, one, go! Whoa! It gets kicked around the curve. Made it! Team Retroactive posts 9.76 seconds. Not as fast as Team Street Wiener, but still a good race. Let's roll some highlights from that run. It twists and turns through that figure eight. And sent the crash barricade flying. What a stunt. That slide and launcher really adds some speed. Whoa, that was a perfect jump. HW Warp Speeder follows it right into the launcher. Scoopa de Fuego powered through those loops. You gotta love to win with that stylish flip at the end. Wait, what's that I hear? That's right, Team Clip Rod is already revving their engines. Three, two, one, go! Oh, is it out of control? Deora 3 spins loop after loop. It bumps the last car into the catch bucket. Now, let's take a closer look at that replay. Clip Rod tears through the loops. It got so much speed out of that launcher. Clip Rod had a close call at that popper. We're coming into the jump. Yeah, made it. And they got a final time of 11.64 seconds, which puts them in third place. That was a good run, but it might not make the cut. And we still have one team left to go. Team Clear Speeder may look stylish, but there are some tough and strong cars in this lineup. Three, two, one, go! That's a clean start for Clear Speeder. The way it drives even sounds clean. Go, go, go! Yo, let's go! Good job, Team Clear Speeder. You advance to the next round with a time of 9.5 seconds. Let's take a closer look. And it launches through the figure eight. Everything about this run feels so precise. 
that got some serious air on that jump. Time to clear the slate. We're moving on to the championship round. Chaz is gonna level up this track build for our next race. Ready, Ready set, build! Yo, check this out. Chaz is turning and attaching the loop to the longer track build. And throwing in some extra stunts for good measure. Team Street Wiener posted the fastest time, so they'll go first. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! I haven't seen anything go that fast. And backflips into the catch bucket. I can't believe that. That was so awesome. They dominated that track with a time of 9.38 seconds. Man, let's take a look at those replays. Street Wiener's nearly perfect off the starting launcher. Now that's classic Hot Wheels racing. The car blasted through those obstacles. Did you see that? That was awesome. This team had a strong showing on the back half of the track. Here's the final showdown. I'm ready to crown the champion. Team Clearspeeder is ready to prove that they have what it takes. Let's go Clearspeeder! Three, two, one, go! Cloak and Dagger makes the jump. Now on to Big Rig. And there's a slowdown out of the crash zone. Oh, all the way to the catch bucket. What was the final time? What, 9.26 seconds? What a run! We gotta see that again! Clear Speeder had a blazing start. Those yellow gates sent the barricades flying. These bumps are straight fire. It sticks the landing. I haven't seen anything go that fast. It crashed through the stunt barricades. Races like these get me excited to build new tracks every day. And with that, Team Clearspeeder is the bumper to bumper champion. Wow, that was an amazing competition. Well, that does it for this episode of Labs Unlimited. A special shout out goes to our track builder, Chaz. He raced, launched, bumped, jumped, crashed, and looped these cars to the finish line. What racetrack will you build next? The possibilities are unlimited. Demo Derby takes a big lead over. It's moving so fast I can barely keep.